Stephanie. I'm working on my cushions today, so I thought I would share with you how to measure your fabric to get the right amount of fabric when you are working on this project. Because if you start your project and get halfway through and find out you're running out of fabric, that is so frustrating. The cushions for my pop-up tent trailer. I've already done the back. So I already did my measuring, but I'm gonna show you how I did that. So this is the back, and now I'm gonna make this match this. So I'm gonna use the same fabric. So let me show you how I measured that. And we'll measure the small one first. Uh, there's a couple of things to think about. Uh, if you're new to sewing and you want this to be quick and easy, I wanted this to be quick and easy, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it. So I picked an easy pattern. I uh, don't have to match. Stripes are hard because you have to match them. Otherwise, if they're off, on your seam it just doesn't look good so to measure I want to know how big this cushion is all the way so I'm gonna measure it all the way around how are you gonna do that is you're gonna find your number one right there and you take that number one and go all the way around so I'm just gonna slide it under there's my one and then where does it touch 31 so that's how big it is all the way around so let's write that down in our book so now let's find out how big this piece is, shall we? Let's move this big cushion out of the way. So this is a craft table that I pull out for big projects, but I'm thinking this needs to be a project. Stay tuned. No, that's not even close. So I can't just make one measurement unless I got a di different kind of tape measure. And I don't want to get a different tape measure. I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to measure it halfway. So I'm starting right here with my one going down here and then I'm going down there and what do I get I get 42 so 42 from here to here so turn it over what do you think it's gonna be hmm it's gonna be 42 so I'm just measure that again so now I've gone all the way around and it's 42 42 so that is 84 so we'll start here Find your one, so we're at the beginning. There we go. And it's right around 56. So I'm gonna write that down. So let's find out how long this is. Wait, hold on, can you guess? Hmm, what do you think that's gonna be? Hint. It's gonna be the same, but we'll measure it, prove it. You can never measure too many times. I've heard the saying, measure twice, cut once. What that means is measure, 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 just get it right. So I'm gonna go all the way from, the, from this top, all the way over and down. So this is basically half, and it's 42. Imagine that. Let's just see, double check. One, all the way over and to the side, 42. So we know that this is also 84 because it matches this one. It's just different in this length because that's shorter and this is bigger. So we know it's 84. So you have a couple ways to think about this. If you are looking at fabric, the common width of fabric is normally is 45 inches, 54 inches, or 60 inches. There are others, but those are the common ones that you're going to find at your Joann's, Walmart, etc. So if I want to go, I want to go with the grain. When you're looking at fabric, here's my fabric. Which way is the grain? The grain is always with a salvage edge, so it's this way. I can tell you right now. So when I'm looking at my fabric, I know that this is, the, here's the salvage, so here's the grain, okay? So now how can you tell if you don't have a salvage edge or you just don't know. So if you pull, just give it a tug. If I pull right here, there's just no give at all with the grain. But if I pull this direction across, there's a little bit of give. It's not stretchy, because this isn't a stretchy fabric, but it still gives just a little. So if you've got a square piece of fabric and you're trying to decide where is the grain, just pull it both ways. The one that just doesn't give it all, that's the grain. So we know that our grain is this way. And we know that we like this pattern in, with the grain. So basically, I'm gonna to wanna to cover this cushion with the grain. So that means that the width of this fabric is gonna go on here. So how wide is my cushion? It's 84 inches. How wide is my fabric? Let's find out. It says right on the bolt when you buy it, 
but I'm gonna measure it real quick. It's 27 inches, but it's folded in half. So there's twice that. So for 27 and 27 is 54. This is 54 wide. This cushion is 84 all the way around, but only halfway is only half of that. Remember it was 42. So 42 is gonna go great with, with fits right within the 54. So what that means is if I take this fabric and I just go with the grain, I can, I can definitely, I got plenty of room. I've got excess. And what you want to allow, an average seam is 5 eighths of an inch. So just think an inch. So basically when I sew it, I want an inch uh, to sew. So if I was close, if it was only, you know, if it was really close, I'd want to at least have my seam allowance on both pieces of fabric to, so that all the way around. So whatever your halfway point is, Ours is 42. You want an inch on this side and an inch on this side. 42 plus one inch on this side, which is 43, plus another inch on this side, which is 44. So you'd have enough. But I have 54, I'm covered. So if, it's, uh, if you had the 45, if I had the 45 wide, which is just another measurement, I could do it. I could do it, but I need to be careful in my cutting and I need to be careful in my pinning to, because I wouldn't have a lot of excess and I like excess but if I wanted the fabric bad enough I would choose that so there you have it we know uh, how to get it on there so now how much length do I need so we know it's going this way so we want to go all the way around and what was that measurement all the way around was 56 inches so we want that so I'm just going to make a little list here I want 56 but I want it twice because I have two of these. So 56 plus 56, 12, 10, 11. So that's 112. And then this one here is around, is 31. So I'm gonna do 31 and 31 is 62. Add that to my uh, 112 is four is seven, 174, 174 inches. Now it gets a little tricky because when you're in the store, you don't see things by inches, it's by yards. Yes, that is confusing. So here is my phone gonna be my calculator for me. So I'm gonna take my 174, because that's 56 plus 56 plus 31 plus 31 equals 174. So I'm gonna take 174, I'm gonna divide it by a yard. Does anybody know how many inches are in a yard? Google it, it's 36. So 36, 4.8333 infinity. So 4.8 uh, yards, I mean in, uh, yards. So you'll want just, I would just do five. This is, if it's me. Um, you you gotta do the three and one, you know, eight. So you'd have to do four and you'd have to know this fraction. You'd have to know, is it an eighth? Is it a fourth? Is it three fourths? Is it such and such? So I just would round it to the closest. If it was for anything under four point four and a half, I would do four and a half. If it's anything above four and a half, I do five. It's just to make it easy. That's me. And if you're using really expensive fabric, it might be worth getting a calculator and doing the calculations, but that's not me. I don't like that. So I'm not going to do that. So I know I'm going to get five yards and I'm going to be covered. If I want to do some extra pillows, I would measure the pillows and see how much extra I wanted, um, or I might just throw on. A half a yard is a lot. Basically, look at this, and I will tell you what a half a yard is. So this is our width. So they're going to lay it on the measuring table this way, and they're going to measure it this way. So tape measure. So here's a yard, 36 inches. So there's the one. So right there is a yard. So if I want a half a yard, maybe like 16, 17 right there. So that's actually enough for at least a pillow or maybe two small ones. So you can add extra if you want. I almost always get extra fabric, but that's how I measure my fabric for my cushions so that you don't run out. Oh, that would be awful. So you want to have the right amount. So prepare and if you have any questions, please leave it in my comments and I'll try to help you with that. And um, you know, you might Google some more sewing videos because there's a lot to learn and it's so, it's so rewarding to be able to make your own things. And these cushions I'm really looking forward to. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna see this finished cushion, it's coming next. And I just enjoyed showing this to you. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.